The Mandalorian Season 2 was a big hit on Disney Plus and shocked audiences bringing back Luke Skywalker into Star Wars lore. Grogu previously left with Luke Skywalker to train as a Jedi and left in Darien played by Pedro Pascal by himself. In the book of Boba Fett, Mando and Grogu reunited and decided to rejoin as a clan together. Mando now will attempt to train and show Grogu the ways of the Mandalore. In the same way Din was a foundling, Grogu is taken in. Season 3 is dropping on March 1st on Disney+, Plus, so there is still time to catch up on the show and spin-offs. I will attempt to give my own predictions and theories based on the leaks and news surrounding the third season of this show. I have listed 5 things that I have to look forward to on this season of the Mandalore. Many of the leaks from the season and of the show come from MakingStarWars.net and from other places. I'll have a link to all of those web pages and where I got all these leaks and these sources from in the description down below. The biggest thing that I'm going to be looking for in Season 3 of The Mandalorian is for a more big scope and a bigger story overall and just kind of elevating the stake of the whole story. We will have Bo-Katan, the Armorer, and other Mandalorians all present for Season 3. There have also been teases of a bigger role for the Armorer played by Emily Swallow. There's a big rift between Mandalorian people and clans, this big conflict of the season will most likely highlight those differences more than ever. She has these differences and major conflicts with Bo-Katan's clan, those two have been basically bitter since the fall of Mandalore. The fall came during the Night of a Thousand Tears, where the Galactic Empire nearly wiped out all the people of Mandalore. Both sides toss blame at each other, but Season 3 will be when they attempt to make some sort of peace. Din Djarin will be the main voice that will try to unite his people. His voiceover message is a call out to other Mandalorians scattered across the galaxy much like Obi-Wan's message during Order 66 at Episode 3. It'll be fascinating to see how many people of Mandalore will unite at the very end. The number two thing I'm going to be looking forward to is Pedro Pascal once again back as Mando, aka Din Djarin, and the caretaker of Grogu. Grogu is a small little guy who has quite a usage of the Force. Along with Pedro and Grogu, there will be a ton of characters that I'm going to be looking forward to at their return. Carl Weathers will return as Grief Karga and dons a nice new costume. Katie Sackoff is back as Bo-Katan Christ and the leader of Clan Christ. She and Mando have had some awkward Darksaber related tension that will need to be resolved in Season 3. Other cast members officially announced are Omid Obtali as Dr. Parrish, Amy Sedaris as Peely Moto, Christopher Lloyd as an unknown character, and Tim Meadows as an unknown character. Park Sun Hyung Lee will also be back playing an X-Wing pilot named Tava. He will be a presence during the season and will have an ear towards the Galactic Empire and towards the New Republic. Him being an X-Wing pilot and patrolling the galaxy would make him a good candidate to see into what the remnants of the Empire are doing, especially if that threat is still hovering over you and in the form of one Grand Moff Gideon. My number three thing to look forward to is the return of Giancarlo Esposito as Moff Gideon. He is the leader of that large remnant of the Gold Galactic Empire. He was also the previous owner of the Darksaber before Mando took it from him. He has a ton of nefarious plans for his foe, but is currently locked up. The Moth will plan his escape and manipulate his way back to power. Gideon will be back and featuring a new combat suit, taking elements from the Galactic Empire and even Mandalore, specifically the Death Watch clan from the Clone Wars series. That clan was led by the likes of Darth Maul, so some elite combat suit is going to be attached with that elite company. The Empire will be back probably in a very Empire Strikes Back way. The fourth thing that I'm going to be looking forward to in Season 3 are more flashback scenes and overall lore. Lore behind the Darksaber and its history, how it even got to the likes of Grand Moff Gideon. The Empire, the Night of a Thousand Tears, is something to behold because, you know, we rarely see the Empire in this big way. We more so see them in, you know, the clumsy stormtrooper that can't shoot towards anything. But this Empire that we're going to see now and the ones that even the remnants exist in are going to be scary to see on the big screen. Another thing I would like to see in Season 3 of the Mandalorian is more floor and flashback scenes. Mainly the fanboy in me just wants to see more Clone Wars flashback scenes. But with this season focusing around the events of A Night of a Thousand Tears, it's going to be important to piece the puzzle of both clans to try to reach towards some sort of agreement. So we might get more flashback scenes in the perspective of somebody like Bo-Katan, we might get more flashback scenes in the sense of the Mandalorian as well, just sort of kind of piece everything together. Bo-Katan and the Armorer are obviously at disagreement at who caused the downfall of Mandalore. With Mando also trying to take atonement for removing his mask in front of Grogu, he's going to go through some certain trials and explore different planets as well. We might even get some returning faces in the form of IG-11 and Boba Fett, so just keep your eyes peeled out for him. The final thing I'll be watching for in the third season are new worlds and planets. 
We are returning to Coruscant by the looks of the trailer, and as cool and relevant as Tatooine is, I'm glad to see Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni explore different worlds in the Star Wars mythos. The home world of the Mandalorian's Mandalore is also expected to make an appearance this season as well. Din Djarin's name is traveling across the galaxy, so he might be called to other worlds to perform other tasks. He's gone from bounty hunter to now a man trying to atone for his previous crime of unmasking. New missions and new obstacles to explore. And it's going to be very exciting to see the next chapter in Grogu and Din Djarin's adventure across the galaxy. But while many Star Wars fans have their eyes focused towards Season 3 of The Mandalorian, the creators have moved on to other projects such as Season 4. John Favreau, the showrunner of The Mandalorian, spoke with BFM TV Inside about the next season. Season 3 has yet to premiere on Disney+, Plus, but the show's director is wasting no time teasing fans about the show. He quotes the following. Season 4? Yeah, I've written it already. We have to know where we are going to tell a fully formed story. So, we have mapped it out, Dave Filoni and I. And then slowly, you just write each episode. So I was writing it during post-production because all of it has to feel like a continuation and one full story. Jon Favreau also spoke about the upcoming Ahsoka show and gave an update on the production of that show. Star of the show Rosario Dawson will return as Ahsoka Tano. The hero from the Clone Wars has become a popular face amongst Star Wars fans. The character has been embedded in Star Wars canon since her first character appearance in 2008. Dawson claims her show might have a fall release date in the past. She went further into explaining that episodes will be releasing once the Haunted Mansion series concludes on Disney+. Jon Favreau has placed a lot of the duties of that show towards Dave Filoni, but he spoke about it in that same interview with BFM TV Inside and states the following. And then he's doing Ahsoka, which I'm in production with him, but he's the writer and the showrunner on that. And so to undertake what's happening on other shows or even Skeleton Crew, they all take place in the same Star Wars time period. So there's a lot more things that we have to keep in mind and stuff we have to build up from previous seasons of The Mandalorian as well. I'm enjoying this form of unifying the Star Wars show and to try to tell everything in almost a very similar tone. From the likes of Andor to the likes of The Mandalorian to the Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, there are going to be some changes between characters characters and some slight tone changes here and there, but it's going to be all the same universe. And I think Dave Filoni and John Favreau have the right intention and have the right mindset and plan for the Star Wars universe. Kathleen Kennedy is still in charge, but I think she's really tossed aside of a lot of that creative control. Hopefully it reflects it well in the movies, but I think the shows have done good for the most parts in the live action and especially well in the, in the animated section. But let me know what you guys think about the possibility of season four of The Mandalorian, the return of Ahsoka Tano, and season three that will be coming on Disney Plus on March 1st. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section below. Thanks for dropping by and leaving a like for this video. If you haven't left a comment, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more videos and click that bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And check out some more videos clips on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and have a good one.